Okay, guys, we're back. We just finished the Operation Anchorage DLC for Fallout 3. And I have a couple of things I need to go do. Uh, first things first, I need to go back to Megaton. I'm going to go to my house there and deposit uh, some old armor and things that I'm not going to be needing. And that are just honestly taking up space in my inventory. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take care of that. Loot, loot, loosen or lighten the load. <laughs> and loosen it too, I suppose. Oh, she's going to give me a present. Here. Thank you. A little bit of medex. It's always the same broad. Anyway, once we're done this... Uh, wait, what time is it now? Oh, it's in the morning. Okay. Once we're done this here, uh, I'll head over to... I'll head over to the guy... Uh, I can't, what's his name? I can't remember. Frank or something like that? Uh, D, D, D. Let's see. Ammo. Miscellaneous aid. Apparel. Here we go. We'll give this... This, 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 and this. Keep these for myself. Weapons. I'm not going to be using this. Maybe that. So I'll put away Chinese pistol. Um, the minigun. And maybe the missile launcher for the time being. And the scope 44. Maybe the silence pistol as well. I don't really need it at the moment. That freed up a lot of weight. 78 pounds of my weight. Cool. So everything's in that locker if I ever need it. But right now, I don't think I'll ever need anything else since I have these weapons and ammo. Or armor, sorry. And this armor, like I said, is the best one in the game. It never depreciates. You could, it, like, it takes forever to even, you know, put a dent in the damn thing. So... Anyway, I'm going to go to uh, Walter. That's his name. Walter, sell some of my, um, sell all of my scrap metal. And, yeah, 10, 10 credits a thing, or 10, 10 caps a thing. And I think I have six, so that'll give me 60 creds. Is that what it is? I think so. Could be more than that. I don't remember. But it, that's six pounds of weight that's making a difference. Walter, yo, buddy, time to wake up. There you are. What do you need? I got some scrap metal. Just take all the scrap metal I have. All right. It's not much, but it gets rid of it and I get paid for it, so. What the fuck? What the hell? I'm on top of the light! How does that happen? Jesus! How do I even fit on top of the light with this armor? It's the damn robot aliens. Anyway. These are all DLCs. I think I might go meet Pops at Rivet City. Might as well. <laughs> Last time we checked, Dad was running across the Capital Wasteland. No, but seriously though, I once, like, like while he was running across the thing, I actually had to wait a couple days for him to even show up. Because it does it in real time. It takes him, like, real time to get over there. Really? He's probably here. I did a whole Operation Anchorage. I was in a simulator for a few hours, so... This is the clinic? Yes, yeah, silence lab. I, I don't even know how people could. Who the hell are you? You know, that's what I would ask them. Who the fuck are you, boy? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I am here. To liberate America. I told you work, Madison. And now I can prove it. Faja. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so. so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself, he confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... 
I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How no could it not be worth report, improving the lives of everyone in the wasteland? Mind your damn business, Henry. Worthy endeavor. You have the wastewater in the hydroponic gardens is draining properly. It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I'll check you know it out before the end of the day. Get the fuck out of here! This isn't your conversation. We don't have a gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility and some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. You know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate Hey, it. look! There's a vault tech bobblehead right there. <laughs> Won't that be dangerous? Probably. But we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? Yes. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. No problems to report, I assume? Intelligence. Intelligence has been permanently increased by one. Nice. So what's my intelligence sitting at then? Eight? I'm very good, apparently. Oh, it brought it up to seven. Right. So I think these need to be updated. Once I find the bobbleheads, too, that'll help. Hey. Hi. I don't know if I like this. I understand it's important to Dr. Lee, but isn't going to Project Purity dangerous? Bitch, do you want to keep your job? And she gave me some attitude the last uh, last time, so... I'm not going to be too nice to her. And there's a lot of side quests I want to get. But I have to do some walking around. I have to, like, comb the wastelands one of these days and see who else I can talk to. That's secure for a reason. Bitch, fuck you. Why does everyone assume I'm just going to steal shit? I, and it makes me want to steal shit even more. You know, they just treat me like I'm a, I'm a random thug. I'm gangsta. What are you talking about? Move it, old people. I'm a lot faster. Don't have time for your... Rubber necking. And no, this one I probably will have to wait for them because they're. Did you need something? Gee. Oh my god, bitch, you asked me this shit again. Oh my god. Is everything alright? Dad, I'm not a child. Look at the power armor I'm sporting. Look at the weapon I'm using. Do you really think I need to be coddled anymore? Fuck. <laughs> no, I don't. Yep. I am unsure how useful I will be at this point. I, I really don't want to hear it. Let's tell you what. You guys can all wait. I'm traveling to the Jefferson Memorial. And yeah. I gotta wait for them. I'll wait two hours, maybe three, just to be safe. There we go. Some people are in such a hurry. We can't accomplish anything until we can get in. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. I got this. Sure thing. I'll be right back. Be careful. Dad, look at how I'm equipped. I'm fine. <laughs> For real. 
I'm pretty sure I got rid of most of the mutants. There might be one cat still inside, but we'll deal with that. Hello, mutant, 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 mutant. Whip out my goss rifle. <whistles> Sorry, one second. Just, just a minute. There we go. Hey, Dad, I found a nice couch we could use. I don't see anybody because I've already been here and I already cleared shit out. Oh, there's one. I'm going to use a shoddy on this. Get the hell out of my face. Don't want any of that. So you throw a grenade and run towards the grenade you just threw. You are stupid. And I'll take your frag, actually. I have lots of weight. I can... I'm able to take a lot of stuff right now. I love how patriotic this shit is. Hello? I'll go to here. This is where this is where they will be going. Let's see if there's any mutants in here since we last left. Parasil, everything's going up rather quickly. What the hell's in there? Oh, it's Jefferson. Durr, that makes sense. So this is clear. Let's go to the sub basement. I don't know if this is where you need to clear them out, but you know what? I still have to go to places like Little Lamp Light and Big Town and whatnot. I should do some exploring one of these days. See what I can find. Where are you? Come say how do you do? Blood bag. What the fuck are they? Oh. Whoa! No more time to die. Really? <laughs> Jesus! What's he throwing at me? And vomit. Oh my god. Fuck. Just go to his head. Oh god. I hate me. I hate those centaurs. That will do wonderfully, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I don't know how much I'm going to find here. Those gore bags are actually the shit. Believe it or not.
Ooh, I had a carton of cigarettes. A few cartons of cigarettes I should have sold. Forgot about that. What's taking him so long? Oh, sorry, Dad. I had to take a nap. I was pretty tired, after all. You making me run around left, right, and center to do your dirty work? Although, I don't know if I could ever do that. No matter how much more skilled my son is to me, I don't think I'd send him in anywhere. Know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, no, I feel like it's my duty to protect my son, and I'll do whatever I can. I won't hide in cowardice and be like, no, I can't take him out. Son, you do it. Like, I could never fucking do that. Fucking die! Jesus Christ. I'm almost level 15, though. That's that. That's what you can use to talk to your pops, I think. I'ma do the things that I wanna do. I ain't got a thing to prove to you. I eat my candy with the pork and beans. Excuse my manners if I make a scene. I ain't gonna wear the clothes that you... Look at all this. Ain't gonna wear the clothes that you like. No better with the me inside. Look at the mirror and you take your cake. I don't give a fuck about what you think. Okay, I just got rid of that. I'm not gonna bother. Found a hell of a lot of uh, audio logs. So you might as well start it. We'll just say the personal journal. Well, here we are again. Protect purity and me. And I. Alright, before I listen to the next one, so what's this? Um, I'm just gonna go talk to Dad. That way we have something to listen to in case we have to walk a distance or so. Yeah, Pops, I got it. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? Everything is in there is dead. I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Okay. Hi. Don't mind these goo piles. That's just what remains. I've already ransacked this bitch. You guys coming? Did you need something? I need you to hurry the fuck up. I'm like, goddamn, I don't have all day. I have shit to do. Who are you? Oh, great. What? Listen, I know who you are, okay? As far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Who the fuck do you think made it safe for your motherfucking ass inside this Jefferson motherfucking memorial, bitch? Watch your goddamn mouth. Fuck. You know what I mean? 
Fuck this guy. Daniel Agincourt. Fuck you, man. I'm the only Daniel. I should kick you the fuck out of the project. I don't want to hear his story. I'm gonna f oh, I want to smack him around real bad. Mother piece of fucking garbage. I don't think you should be here. Fine. Then I won't. Should have told me that before I cleared out the fucking mutants. Yes. Go. Come on. I don't have all day. You're lucky I let Agincourt stay around. I don't beat the shit out of his ass. Seriously. I hope you guys don't mind working around super mutants. Dead super mutants, mind you, but... They're still there. As she walks over one. She doesn't care. Did you need something? Go! Just walk, bitch. Fuck, Dr. Lee. Just want to slap you in the face. Here we are. Where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Yes, Dad, I do. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. Omega? And the end. Omega. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. What do we need to do right now? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. Okay, where do I need to go? The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. So you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. God damn it, Dad. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. This is a momentous occasion. Because even after what? 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. Seriously, man, that Agincourt, he start, he's sticking, he's saying stay out, stay out of his way. You shut the fuck up. You don't talk to me. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running. But it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. It will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. I have to visit Madison and Wind City. The fuck? I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? 